Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've done some nail content, but y'all have been asking and I am here to deliver because it's been a long time since I've had some on. I've been rocking the no nails, but it's time for me to pop out looking like a baddie. This is the first time in two months that I've done them, so bear with me. Okay, disclaimer. A lot of people may not agree with me because I started nails two years ago, but I've been very inconsistent. I've only done a handful of nails. So in my eyes, I am still a beginner, but I'm teaching you guys what I do as a beginner and what works for me and what I've learned. I feel like it's important to learn from somebody who just started so they can basically give you all the tips of trial and error and stuff like that versus someone who's been doing it for a while and they might have forgot the things that they used to do and how they overcame like some of their issues. Now, moving forward, I am prepping my hand and I take a really long time that's why I have this clip in real time to show you how much time I really take prepping each one of my fingers like each of my hands it takes me a really long time and I am working on time management but I feel like taking my time versus trying to rush through the set and get it done makes the biggest difference this set is the longest set that has lasted on me with little to no damage so I feel like this definitely works for me this is what I needed to do <laughs> I'm starting by pushing the cuticle back and this tool I got from my local beauty supply they have stickers and papers in the front of the building saying that they only accept and they only sell to people with licenses but that's not true some of these places just have that to save their butts but in all reality they don't even ask you so with that being said for those of y'all that keep asking me where do I get my nail supplies that's where I get them originally i was just ordering from the young nails website but i kept ordering more and more things as i was watching more and more nail tutorials and that shipping cost was adding up so i was looking for something that i can just go in and grab but i was a little bit discouraged because a lot of places like i just said has signs and will literally tell you unless you have a certificate then you cannot purchase whatever you needed to purchase from there you know what I mean so I ended up reaching out to a well-known nail tech um, lovely Mimi and she's like girl I go to trans nail design in Georgia that's the only place that I go and it is 30 minutes away from my house so I try to stock up on everything that I can but everything is pretty pricey you're gonna pay a pretty penny um because this hobby is just expensive in itself but i feel like that goes for literally anything and everything that you decide to make a living out of you just notice that there are literally levels to this shit like there's levels to everything that you do there's a cheaper side and there's an the expensive side but i feel like you can definitely cheat yourself when you're going for the cheaper side for sure i always try to get the most expensive thing because i just feel like i want to do it the right way the first time i don't want to have to keep going through i don't want to waste money like i just want to get it right the first time so that's what i do but yeah so if you're in the georgia atlanta area that is where i definitely recommend going but back to the video i used two different drill bits i used a small one to clean up my cuticle area and then i went in with a sanding band a medium grit one to feather off the rest of the shine that was on my nails that's all i did i was just taking my time doing that and now i have some nail tips that i got from instagram I don't even remember where I got them from but I'm just sizing them to my finger and then gluing them down I love the fact that they're straight but I don't like the fact that these nail tips are they have like a big C curve and it makes it a little bit more difficult when I'm filing because I don't know because like it's hard to explain so if you know you know but most of the time when I have time, I'll just take some scissors and I'll cut them to narrow it down to make them more like not so flat and wide. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but like I said, if you know, you know. And some of these wasn't sticking on fast enough. So luckily I had ended up grabbing some quick 
glue spray i don't know exactly what it's called because i don't have the bottle next to me right now but basically when you spray it on the nail the glue dries instantly and that was literally a lifesaver because i was having a really hard time <laughs> gluing these down like i didn't want to do the method where you like file it and then you glue it like that was just doing too much for me and when you're doing nails especially when you do nails and you take your time like i do I, I'm just like trying to find better ways to do things and that saved my life and I think it was pretty cheap so definitely recommend that if your nails are not sticking as fast. So right now you see me taking my time putting on the protein bond that I got from Young Nails. This stuff is A1 steak sauce as long as you're putting layers on. And throughout the video you're going to see that I do one hand at a time. Because by the time I get to the next hand, because I do take my time, the prep is not even valid if, if that makes sense. Like the oils are going to come back naturally. So I just do it hand by hand, dehydrate them. Once I get to that hand, sometimes I only do a couple fingers at a time and I noticed that that keeps the nail from popping off when I first started to do my nails I would notice or when I would do my sister's nails as well that one hand would pop off and the other one would be on and that's because the hand that I did first was the one that had the strongest hold because I didn't redo the prep and protein bond when I started the second hand so that just made so much sense when I was watching videos on other nail techs it just blew my mind so I think no matter how good you think you are at doing nails it's really good to watch other people do nails so you can watch their tips and tricks there might be things that might save you time in the long run too so yeah definitely grateful for all of this free knowledge on the internet and now back to the video because i'm just rambling and rambling so this is where you can tell that it's been a long time since i've done nails because my beads are some of them are runny some of them are dry i should have did some bead practice with the paper that i laminated but i couldn't find it and i was just trying to jump in i'm like i got this <laughs> which i did but it turned out to be so long like this whole process with stops and breaks and stuff like that i was also watching a movie ended up taking a total of 12 hours but this was in my opinion the best set that i've done and they lasted the longest like i said so it was well worth it in my eyes and ignore the dog that you may hear in the background but oh yeah i forgot that cleaning my brush consistently made a huge difference as i was learning how to do nails because it made my brush less clumpy and when you're first starting and your beads are like all over the place like they're not consistent at all they're gonna get gunky like that's just what's gonna happen so you need to make sure that you're constantly cleaning and i also noticed that using specific like towel for nails like the nail thingy instead of using regular paper towel ended up making me save a lot of monomer and i don't know i think it's just because regular paper towel soaks up the liquid but yeah and another good tip is to change your monomer out with every hand unless you're like super clean with it like your beads are perfect and stuff and your monomer is like super clear since like i said i feel like i'm a beginner and i just feel like it works a lot better and it keeps my brush from being gunky i just change it out so i try to put a little bit as much as i need so that i'm not wasting so much monomer because monomer is pretty expensive and then for this hand i remember that the last time that I did nails or I don't know if I actually did this method before but I think I saw a video of people starting their beads at the bottom instead of the top and I feel like this actually helped me in the placement and the shape of the nail like my nail wasn't as clumpy my application was a lot smoother when I did it like this and my goal for next year or you know if I'm able to get consistent enough to be able to break it down to only three beads so that's one of my goals but this really helped me and it helped me build like a perfect apex and everything so if you applying your acrylic is like too inconsistent and you feel like you're putting so much time and effort into it maybe start putting your beads at the bottom first and then build it up and i got a question for all my other nail techs out in this world um am i supposed to cap every single color with clear or does it not matter because this is technically 
I don't know if it's considered like a nude cover shade or not but after I finished the video I was like wait <laughs> ain't I supposed to cap this like am I supposed to cap white as well because I know that it's more expensive I think I don't know I, I usually don't really look at the prices I just get what I need I'm like okay I need this got it I know they're all pretty much on the pricier side but usually color pigmented um, acrylic are in smaller containers and I think it's because you're supposed to really cap with it and or not a lot of people use color acrylic maybe like gel color I don't know the point that I'm trying to make the question that I'm trying to ask is am I supposed to cap everything or no and is there a difference when you cap I know the last time that I got my nails done by a nail tech in Chicago, she capped everything and she also like did nail art on the top of it and it made it look 3D. It made it look really pretty. So I just want to know if y'all do that. <laughs> so this is when one hand is done. My camera kept overheating and that's the first time that it's ever happened. I think it's because I was using an external display to make sure that I was in frame, which actually did help me film better, but it kept overheating so it was annoying. So I did one whole hand off camera so you guys can get an idea of where we're going with this. But referring to the video you see me shaping the nail as best as I can doing it on myself the longer the nail I feel like the harder it is to shape and to file to make them super straight one of my biggest pet peeves is my nails being straight like they have to be straight and they cannot be lumpy the lumpiness if I've been working on them for some hours I'll like cut myself a little slack as long as they don't look like it um, and like the average person can't catch it I'm just like a perfectionist then I'll be fine but they have to be straight like they cannot be jagged at all so if you guys got some tips feel free to let me know in the comments don't think that I'll get a good enough tip I think it's just what comes with it but my wrist be hurting honey <laughs> this is when I wish I had like a friend that knows how to do nails so they can just get me right real quick now I understand why nail techs get their nails done because this is a work of art girl if I was doing this set on somebody else it would have took me like I want to say four hours the longest part is really one the prep and then two figuring out what you want to do and the colors that you want to use since I'm doing it on myself and I have so many options I just I feel like it takes me way longer so yeah there's that and then if I have nails that are too bulky I'll go down with my drill on like high speed and break it down so that I can file less that's something that I had to learn too because I'll just go in with my hand file and I'll keep going and I'll keep going and then my wrist hurt and it's just a whole mess but right now you see me dehydrating my nails because I'm going to do nail art right now I'm using it's like a gel diamond glue thing in majiggy and I got it from Valentino two nail techs ago I was told about this and she said that she didn't like it but what works for one person and what doesn't work for one person may not and may work for the next person so I wanted to try it for myself Myself, and it definitely had pros and cons I don't know if I was doing it right I'm pretty sure that I was but they definitely fell off very fast and it made my nails look super crazy so I might try it again I might not try it again but for the charms that I put like on my other hand you can see that I put a bear um, that worked really well and that ended up staying on for the whole set but the diamonds they definitely did not like the little gems that I put on they did not and you can see that pinky is marbleized and that is when my camera ended up overheating so I couldn't film that and I was over it at this point because this is like the second day 12 hour shifts of doing nails so I just did that off camera if you want another video I'll do that but now you just see me putting my little oil on and voila we done we made it to the end of the video video comment gang gang in the comments let me know if you like this set let me know if you want like a specific set for me to do a specific length shape i think they came out really beautiful and i can't wait to do my next set hopefully you guys learned a bunch from me and i motivated y'all to do nails i love you nessa gang and i'll see you in my next video bye